Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Mackenzie Photo. Um, it's just a follow up to the video I made the other day about getting a new camera back. Just want to say I've been out and I've tried it. It is, it is actually the best camera bag that I've had so far in my life. It's still not perfect, no bag ever is, but it's damn close for my, for my thoughts. Having the, and also the Peak Design Clip, marvellous bit of kit. I would highly recommend going out and get one yourself. Order one now, but if you're ordering one, get um, the, I think it's the Pro Clip. It comes with a standard clip or it comes with no clip. Get yourself the Pro Clip because that fits in also man throttle tripods if you have one. Or if you're lucky enough to have the Peak Design tripods or um, some other type of tripod. But yeah, I, I would get the clip that fits your tripod as well. Just so you don't have to change it because the Peak Design ones are done with an Allen key. I've already lost the first Allen key. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic bit of kit. Can't recommend the clip enough. Um, the bag itself, absolutely amazing. Um, it's got a new type of breathing thing at the back and usually my back gets quite hot and sweaty kind of backpack. With this one, not so much. It still did get hot and sweaty, but not as bad as bad as it could be. Um, the one thing that I hate about all camera bags that I find is these straps. Why can't I remove these straps? I am overweight. I am classed as morbidly obese. These don't fit me. Um, so normally I'm just using, and you know, it's not the best for my back, but again, these don't fit me, so they're pointless. I would like for them to unzip and be removed. That is the one improvement I would make on this bag so far. Um, Cameras, the camera area, absolutely fantastic. It fits in loads more than I thought it would. But the best bit is this little pocket at the top. I managed to put my lunch in there and a bottle of water um, and my keys, all that rubbish that you don't want in your pockets. And it was safe and secure up there. Absolutely fantastic. Um, front pocket, I had loads of little other bits and bobs as well. Um, and tripod, as you know, fits nicely on the side of these things anyway. Um, I've still got the tag on it. I, I wasn't out for long with it, but um, I was just going out to test it. But um, yeah, I was, about for, I was out for about maybe three or four hours with it. And absolutely fantastic bag. But the for me, the best bit, the best bit of equipment is not actually the bag. It's the Peak Design Clip. I cannot recommend this enough. This saved so much time. You know yourself if you've constantly had to put your camera away and get it back out and put it away and get it back out, rather than having a bouncing about around your shoulders. I've seen them put the clips around their belts and stuff. That's done for me, because if you're walking about, you're bouncing the camera around and stuff, and I hate that. Or you're carrying it in your hand. And again, it begins to weigh down after a time. But yeah, basically, this clip, is the best in camera accessory investment that I've bought. So this would definitely be on my list of equipment to get. Get yourself Peak Design camera clip. Uh, I think it's version three, but yeah, I, it's honestly, it just clips in. This thing can hold up to 200 pounds in weight or whatever. Like a camera's ever gonna weigh that, but it, you, I mean, you see a lot of other camera clips that hold up to like 50 pounds and stuff. Again, no camera's ever going to wear that, but this has been over-engineered to the point where you don't need to worry. Um, you can get, you, when it comes, it's got the little thumb screws in it. I prefer to have the little Allen keys, just because um, to get it onto this strap, this strap's a little bit larger than I think the Peak Design one, so I've got to squeeze it a little bit. Um, but I prefer to use the Allen keys because they felt a little bit more secure for me. But yeah, this clip, absolute game changer. If you haven't got one, go out and get one. If you do have one, put a comment down below and on what you think of it. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I've, I honestly think everyone should go out and buy one. They are not cheap. They pretty much probably are one of the most expensive camera clips, but there's a reason for that. Um, and 
you'll you'll find out the reason as soon as you get it. It is a quality piece of kit. Honestly, I just I can't rave about it enough. It's fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling just now. I'm going to do my usual bit at the end of the video, which is for all the ladies and gentlemen. Please check your lump. Please check your lumps and bumps. If there's anything, any new lumps and bumps there, go straight to your doctor and get checked out. The worst thing you can do is not go to the doctor and then end up finding out you've got some form of cancer. If you find a new lump, the lump or bump, hopefully it's nothing serious and you can just get rid of it easily. But if not, then hopefully you've caught it early and you don't have to have the worry that I've had about whether you're going to survive and watch your children grow up. Please go and get yourself checked. Don't wait. I know there's still COVID about, but don't wait. The worst thing you have to say to your children is, I might not be here in a year. So go and get yourself checked. I can't stress that enough. Um, and also, as you can guess, I'm not a fan of cancer. I don't know anyone that is. Um, and I have a few items in my shop that says, fuck cancer. There's censored versions as well, just in case you don't want to offend anyone, and there's uncensored versions. If you go to mckenziephoto.com and you go to shop, you'll see I've got a list of t-shirts and hats and other cool things. I've also got my print sale on there, and I'll give you a discount code for 10% off just now. It's mckenziephoto-10. Um, I'm not putting it in the description anymore because I only want people that are watching the videos to get that discount. And if you go to the shop, you don't have to, you don't have to buy anything, you can just have a look. Um, or if you've got an idea for anything and you want me to get it in the shop, let me know. Send me a message through my website or comment down below. Um, as always, please like, subscribe and comment. Or you can dislike, subscribe and comment. Just subscribe and comment. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you prefer. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.